What are three easy ways to practice rapport building using NLP? And first, what's rapport building using NLP? Well, very simply speaking, if you haven't taken an NLP training, is copy what somebody else is doing. There's different ways of doing that. You can copy them physically. You can top, copy the tonality or the speed of their voice or the quality of their voice. You can copy their breathing. You can copy their words used. There's many things that you can copy, their gestures. So if you're not NLP trained, just focus on that. If you are NLP trained, of course, you know how to match, mirror, crossover mirror, and have more fancy tool in relation to rapport building. So what does rapport building do? Why would you wanna learn how to do it? It's because when people are in rapport, they trust you more. They become more agreeable. The conversation becomes more flexible. And you see rapport being built all the time without being NLP being used. When people have this connection, this bond in conversation, and it can be also with a complete stranger, then you see that they start copying each other. Even babies, when you smile at them and they feel connected to you, they will smile back at you. So what are three easy ways to practice this? Because what I often notice is that people learn NLP from a book or from a practitioner training, but they fail to practice it in a real world environment. And this is the one of the easiest things you can practice. Think of your next live or Zoom based meeting and simply pick one person in this meeting that you are going to match mirror and crossover mirror or copy very subtly, not sudden, not being like overly <laughs> aggressive about it so that you get caught doing it. And you can even mention it to the person uh, before the meeting. Hey, I want you to pay attention. If there's something that I do that makes you feel more connected, I often like to ask permission to use NLP, to be honest. But you know what? Um, rapport building is done in daily life so often that you, know, you might not even want to worry about that to do everything permission based. Um, and so to so the second way uh, of easily practicing uh, rapport building is by actually not focusing on the easiest way of rapport building, which is usually physically copy someone. In fact, I invite you to build rapport in a different way. Start thinking about copying breathing or something like that, or start copying the tonality and the speed or the quality of someone's voice. So that, that sort of like brings you into the principle of stretch, where you are 30% uncomfortable or challenged and 70% comfortable, so you can still focus on your meeting. And what's the third easy way to build rapport using NLP is by simply maybe uh, copying someone who isn't right in front of you. Maybe you ride the train, Maybe you sit in coffee houses. Maybe you are in locations like a beach over here. I'm in Venice Beach right now. We just finished the training here. We'll be back next year. Uh, or join us on Bali or Amsterdam or Mexico. Also at the beach, by the way, beautiful beach villa. Um, and you, you pick that person a little bit further away, like that person behind me, if I would turn around. Could I match mirror or crossover mirror someone from a distance? And do they notice? And if you do it in like a confined environment, I've noticed that when you're in like a, a, like a Starbucks or something like that, that people often feel it. They somehow feel a connection to you. The exception is, is when they're too much involved with their phone or whatever. But I noticed that people are reading or gently just sitting by themselves, that connection is easily built that way. Now, you also, of course, need to break the rapport. I have over 1,500 free resources online uh, teaching NLP, NLP techniques for different situations, which you can find at globalnlptraining.com backslash simply. You can also find out more about our trainings, tons of products that we have. There's some free NLP products on there, visualizations. You may want to check those out. See you around.